What's up you guys, welcome back to the shop. New day. So, took the tie rods and stuff home, or tie rod ends last night. In the last video, you see I refurbished one. They're in good shape. They need to be painted to match everything else. So I got them all cleaned up, uh, kind of scuffed up, you know, and then re-cleaned. Hung up here so that I can get those all primed and painted. Yesterday, we left off with the engine bay. I, um, I got some Caribbean gold, or And I've got that all over everything I worked. I'm letting that dry. I'm about to throw a blanket over it though. That way I can start doing this. Um, all the hardware, there's all the subframe hardware. Everything needs to be cleaned up. So I'm gonna take a wire wheel to it and clean it. Some of this stuff, you know, you could replace it. But I mean, you're talking $90 in bolts for stuff that works perfectly fine underneath the car. So I'm just gonna get them as cleaned up as best I can. The stuff that, uh, the hardware actually bolts the steering rack up to the subframe i'm gonna clean that up and probably paint the bolt heads as cheesy as it sounds but i just want everything to look really good you know i just getting those bolts like i said are actually it's kind of hard to get the right bolt for that kind of stuff so plus stuff we have works um i don't know exactly where i left off i think i left off last night in a video I don't even know if I can put the clip in there where I started to put the hardware in there and put the steering rack on and I realized it was just way too dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys, nope, I'm not going to time lapse it. I'm not going to do it. I got to let the, the GoPro charge. So boom, got them Johns all painted up. They came out really good. Stoked on that guys. I like the look. I like this gloss enamel paint. It does exactly what it's supposed to. So I'm going to take these upstairs, hang them. It's really hot up there because of the blower heater. And let the enamel cure on those for about two hours before I start to install them. Here's these bolts that I was talking about. These are for the, uh, uh, the steering rack to the subframe actually. And you can see they are just, you know, gnarly. They don't look good. It wouldn't look good on all this painted stuff, so what's the point? So I'm gonna go ahead and take a wire wheel and a uh, drill, just knock all that stuff off. I need to repeat it on all that hardware down there, but I think I'm just gonna wait for a second because this is all I need to get the steering rack and all that stuff together, so um, bam. All right, guys, I got these guys pretty cleaned up. Um, they're not the best at all, but they're a lot better than before as you can see and These ones are still pretty bad. I think I'm still just gonna dab some black enamel on there I know it sounds ghetto, but it'll work. It'll help out. So I'm probably gonna pull a subframe back out Get everything back ready to be assembled. I have to remember exactly which one I think the um, passenger side inner tie rod or something one of them is like a little bit shorter so i have to look into that really quick but i'm gonna figure that stuff out and then get to assembling the subframe so we're one step closer you know pick up the guys a second all right guys so got the subframe up here this is awesome i don't think i've ever been able to like bench work something in a dry environment um we're gonna take the rack Oh, you know what? First things first. This little bushing has got to go back over. Just going to talk.
That all broke down. Now we're gonna put a little assembly loop down the main shaft. up for reassembly. I believe this piece goes on like this. <laughs> Grooves that that guy slides onto. Bam bam. Back you guys up here. They got in here. Not all of it. I'm gonna get a bunch of it off. We are gonna re lube the rack with just assembly grease. So each one of these teeth is gonna get its own little blobber. up on that side. Alright guys, I uh, I got a little carried away. So this stuff is super easy to do anyways. If you're confused on any of it, there's plenty of videos that cover it, but I'll go over it real quick. So I thought my battery was dead, but the SD card was full and I just clicked to record. So when it got full, it turned the GoPro off. So. I had plenty of battery and I could have recorded all this and I feel really bad. So I think the last place that we let we left off was we greased the rack, right? So underneath this little boot, you have an inner tie rod. And at the end of that, there's like a little metal cup that's not there because it's on this one. And if you're pulling your stuff apart, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. That cup needs to go back on, okay? You tighten this all the way down and I just used an adjustable wrench and wrench this thing in as tight as you can get it, right? On both sides. They're, neither one of them are different. They're both the same length, okay? After that, you'll take your boot and pull it over. Luckily, I had these um, straps from doing like heat wrap and stuff on headers and exhaust manifolds. 
I had a couple of those laying around, so I strapped it, which is just like OEM. I needed a little bit cutter or a stronger cutter, like a, a metal shear to cut them off, but that's okay. I can do that later on. After you do that, <clears throat> you screw on your outer tie rod, right? And for me, I wrote down how many turns it was. So like from here all the way around 360, one, two, three, four, right? So this side was 18, that side was 16. So I spun that on 16 tur or 18 turns. And you gotta make sure your backing nuts on your um, inner tie rod. And you spin your backing nut there. And that, that is as close as you can get it until you can get it to alignment shop. You will need an alignment. So don't try to think that you're gonna be able to do this and just drive off, right? Repeat to the other side. On this part of the boot, there's a little cup, like a collar, you can see it right there. That's as far as the boot goes. You just zip, I just zip tied that as tight as I can get it. It's not gonna move any further. I put all the, you know, everything back on the way it's supposed to be. There's, um, these washers need to be in here for these 17s, but I'm gonna get new chrome washers. So I just got this for demonstration. But you can see as we got the rack, all put back together one thing that i'm trying to figure out is how to perfectly center this before i put it back in the car but what i think i'm gonna do it's nice it moves so smoothly guys it's kind of hard with one hand but it just it moves perfect right what i think i'm gonna do is get it in the car or on the car and all the suspension components put together and then I'll actually go ahead and put this part on and that will kind of center that for the, the, the steering shaft, okay? The next thing that I need to do, guys, is I have my old hood mounts, or hood props, whatever you want to call them, and you can see they're just disgusting. They're all the same way. These are like corner light brackets. They need to be sanded down and painted too. And I also need these um this part of the control arm for the new control arm and these were new control arms i had just got them but you know we moved on we're doing different things so these bushings should be good we won't know until we pull them apart so i'm going to go ahead and zip those apart get all that shit sanded down get it ready get it hung put some primer on it go ahead and cover this up so that i don't get any overspray on it then I'm going to move back to my engine bay after I get that stuff painted and everything's painted and I'm not going to get overspray on everything, all right? And then I'm going to start polishing all the areas, finish polishing the engine bay. Another thing is I'm taking some homework home. I got my old casing for my fuse box underneath the hood and um, a couple different parts in here that need to go home and be cleaned. This stuff's all going to be painted, guys. I'm going to be using trim paint to paint the plastic. I know it sounds ghetto, but it looks so good. If you guys watch Aki's videos, you can uh, you can see it on the RXK, what he's doing. And I think that's awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. Gives it a nice flat OEM look. So I'm gonna do that with the window cowl, all the, all the trim stuff that I have that bolts onto the car. I'm gonna be going ahead and doing that stuff as well. So I've been talking for five minutes now. I'm gonna just go ahead and get to work. And uh, I'll pick back up with you guys when I get all this stuff taken apart and it's ready to go and put some paint on it and show you the uh, you know, final product. So sorry about not recording all this stuff, guys. It's really simple and there's a lot of videos that go over it, but just look at that finished outcome from where we came to what it is now, right? It's just crazy. But all right, like I said, I'm gonna get to work, pick back up with you guys in a little bit. What's up guys? I have gotten mega carried away. I think it's snowing outside and dark, but look at them lower control arms. I'm not even 100% sure if I'm gonna use these, but I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'm going to use them to get the car back on wheels and tires, but I went ahead and just started painting everything that I could. These are like the inner, inner part of your upper control arm bushings everything checked out to be all right everything's good so i'm going to use them so i painted them my hood latches or my hood um props i don't even know what you call those but that's what i'm gonna go ahead and call them um i've been i sanded down these i think this is just like for your 
uh, corner light and stuff like that. I'm not even 100% positive. I can't remember. I know I'm not going to need it when I put a wide, a wide front on, but I'm just going to go ahead and paint those matte black to match the inner part of the wheel wells. And that is going to be it. But man, I am stoked here. Oh, I don't want to unwrap it yet. I'll go ahead. I'll do a, a final reveal of everything separate when I uh, right before I take off. So, but like I said, I got mega carried away, started painting like crazy. Super stoked on the outcome. I can't wait to put all this stuff together. The reason I went ahead and did this, like, not only to match the stuff in the engine bay, but if you guys remember the upper control arms, they're kind of like a. Uh, uh, polished aluminum look so yep I think it'll, everything will accent each other it's gonna look well so we'll pretty much get to see it tomorrow I'm excited but uh, I'll pick back up with you guys in a second after I get everything changed get some primer on that other stuff so got all that stuff painted got everything done that I wanted to get done today you know got this with the matte black so they match the wheel well and everything got the control arms over there got the hood props got everything that I needed to get done that way I can actually start bolting this stuff together so now that we got the subframe actually put together we can go ahead and put this underneath the car and we can start putting the suspension components back on bolting things back on underneath the car you know it's a big step in actually getting this thing going in the right direction because once this is in we can start putting motor stuff in um, a big hold up with that right now is the fact that we don't have the twin disc you know Twin discs are about $1,300, so I've been saving, I've been saving. I do have a good clutch, but I know it's not gonna hold what we're trying to do, so might as well just skip that, you know, that point and go ahead and get the twin disc. I got all my hardware here all lined out, ready to go tomorrow. I am gonna wire wheel some of this stuff and clean it up, although it's just gonna be underneath the car. Um, I got some hardware in my pocket to go to uh, the hardware store and get new stuff, so it's nice and pretty. Um, man, I don't know. We're making leaps right now. I know it doesn't seem like it, guys, but this is coming together pretty quickly, and I'm super stoked on it. Because, uh, like I said before, as soon as this goes underneath, all the suspension stuff starts going on, we can actually lower the car back down on the ground. You know, maybe think about just getting the motor in there. I don't know. Like I said, we're being held up on this twin disc. It sucks, man. It sucks. So, But there is something you guys can do to help. So I am getting merchandise and it's, you know, that, that comes out of my pocket. You know, that's a big hit right out the gate. I probably should save that money for a twin disc, but people keep on hitting me up. Yo, where's the merchandise? Where's the merchandise? So I got, I do, I made a t-shirt design last night. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this stuff tonight. It'll be here in about a week and a half or so. Maybe I'll put a drop at the link, uh, or a picture of the t-shirt itself right here. I'm still 100%, or not 100% positive on how I'm gonna do the purchases, guys. So, uh, I was thinking, those of you that are serious at first, just initial, before I make a website or anything, go ahead and message me on Facebook if you want the design, and we'll go ahead and we'll do a PayPal through, through Facebook. And I'm good for it, man, I'm good for it. You guys obviously know where you can find me. So, you know, I'm, you're going to get your shit. You're going to be happy with it. Trust me. So, um, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. I did, not I, you know, like I said, we made leaps. We've got a lot of stuff done here. I'm super happy. I'd like to get the stuff underneath the car by tomorrow and all the suspension components that I can bolt it back underneath the car and just keep on pushing, keep on trucking, getting this stuff done while we're waiting on parts because we do have stuff to do. It's just uh, not the most exciting. Um, you know, I, I didn't even want to record a lot of this stuff because it is kind of just boring and monotonous. And I know you guys aren't always in for that. So, but if you like the content, make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe, you know, let your friends know we're trying to make big things happen over here. So pick up with you guys on the next one. And uh, thanks for watching. Hey.